Hey y'all, welcome back to Tessie Talks. This is Tessie Talks number nine, and this is unfortunately the second to last Tessie Talks. I'm gonna end this little limited series after 10 Tessie Talks. So if you have any ideas for what you want me to talk about in my final Tessie Talks, let me know down below. If I get a few good ideas, maybe I'll do multiple in one video or something like that. I don't know. It could be career related, you know, it could be whatever. This video, I'm gonna talk about the thing that inspired the name Tessie Talks. What I sit in every video and that is my Tesla so if you've been rocking with us for a little bit you saw me purchase my car and you saw how excited I was and everything is this my name on it oh wait what do I do I oh my god no. oh oh my god I'm gonna go and I never gave a car update after that. I said I would and I never did. That is the question that guys, interestingly, guys ask me a lot like, do you like your Tesla and would you recommend it and stuff like that. And I know if people in real life are asking me, then there are plenty of other people out there that probably have the same question. So I'm just gonna talk about my favorite features and the pros and cons. There aren't a lot of cons. I'm just gonna have to go ahead and say it. Well, but depending on your lifestyle. For my lifestyle, there really just aren't many cons. But yeah, just spoiler alert, I really do love my car it was a perfect buy for me perfect for just my vibe my personality i'm very low maintenance kind of person and so this car is very low maintenance which i love starting out i'm just going to talk about my favorite features i had a list and of course i forgot it so let me just go let me just go off the dome i don't need a list i don't need a list okay so my favorite thing is that my phone is also my key I love that. I love that so much. It's so convenient. You can kind of connect your phone via Bluetooth and there's a whole key system and you hook up your phone as one of the keys to your car. I just come up to my car. As long as I have my phone, the handles to my car pop out. Let me just, let me take a back step. All these features I'm talking about are the Model S Tesla. I've ridden in threes as Ubers and stuff like that and the Model 3 Teslas are pretty different. They don't have all the features that I'm talking about. They don't look like my car either. If you are watching this and you're like, I've been in a Tesla or I have a Tesla and my car doesn't do that or I haven't seen the cars do that that's probably why I think it looks the coolest my car is very wide and just looks super cool so that's why I got it but yeah so a lot of these features are unique to the S let me just put that out there um, I like that the handles stay in and I'll insert a video and this makes me feel really secure it makes me feel like it would be very difficult to steal my car with no handles I mean people can always you know bust the windows and where there's a will there's a way but I do like that my handles don't pop out I don't know if y'all remember that time on social media where there was a woman going around talking about how she actually got drugged kind of because someone left a napkin in her handle viral videos going around saying like don't touch anything if you see it in your handle women like that's like one of the ways that people you know are trying to you know kid kidnap people and stuff like that and I don't have to worry about that really because I don't have handles that pop out if you don't have a key to my car the handles are gonna be on, on the inside another thing that I really like is the app you can do so much from the Tesla app I can unlock my car I can stop charging start charging I can check the cameras on my car and see what's going on I can check all the cameras the front the back the sides <laughs> I can do all that from my phone the cameras that's admittedly that's what I use the most often like sometimes especially if I, like, I valet or something I'll check the cameras and be like is my car actually in the garage just to make sure you know people aren't doing anything funny I can unlock my car I can turn on the AC I can pop my trunk I haven't used the summon feature well from what I've read online that's when your car is in a tight space you can summon your car to pull out <laughs> I've never used it because sometimes I'll get to that in the cons but sometimes the sensors in my Tesla like if there's a change in the level of the floor it'll sense that as you're too close to something and so because the sensors aren't like a thousand percent accurate i'm like oh i'm a little too scared to be having my car be, be summoned for me one day i'm gonna try it i'm gonna try it in like a safe space maybe like out in some kind of open field and i'm gonna try it and i'll start to trust it but i haven't trusted that feature yet a requesting service when i <sighs> i broke my side mirror or maybe a couple months after i got my car i jammed my side mirror and so when i requested service I actually did that from my phone one thing i really like is the front trunk there is a trunk in the front and last summer i road tripped all the way from dc to houston and i had pretty much my whole life in my car packed with me so i needed as much space as possible and so it was really nice to one have a wide car during that time because so much can fit in here more than you would even think the trunk is really deep and everything but also having that extra space in the front because there's no engine or anything was really nice um speaking of an engine 
another thing i really like is that i don't have to do the oil changes and things like that i just feel like this car is very low maintenance when there's an update um to anything to the system they just kind of send a software update i guess over the waves <laughs> or whatever and as long as you're connected to wi-fi you can just update your car um, from anywhere and so really like that i do not need to go all the way to a dealership or anything like that to change my oil and like to get like tune-ups and things like that it's very this car is very low maintenance that's one of the main things i love about it what else oh i like that Right here in my driver, I'll try and insert a video. So above my steering wheel, there is a personal GPS map and I love that. And I use that more than I use the bigger map to my right on the bigger screen. Yeah, it's just very convenient. I'm just driving, I'm on the wheel, I look down, the map's right there. It's just very, very convenient. Speaking of screens, I like that there's a screen in the back. So I don't have back passengers very often, but whenever I do, if they think it's too hot or too cold, they can control their own AC back there. So that's really cool. I think they can play games and there's games back there and stuff like that i've literally never ridden back there so i gotta tell you but i've had a couple friends ride back there and like oh this is cool so it's nice to have a screen in the back um i do like my big screen that i have right here just for the vibes really it doesn't have to be this big because i don't play games that much in my car but it's really nice to have such a big screen one of my favorite favorite features which i've kind of mentioned is the feature called sentry mode so the con is that this mode drains battery drains battery very quickly so that's a downside but the upside is you know if you have a consistent power supply you don't have to worry about your battery too much it's very nice to have on sentry mode because whenever you get back to your car my car will tell me how many events happened when i was gone let me just pull it up you press on these little dots probably shouldn't show you all this because it shows like where i'm where i am constantly so i'm not going to show you all this one actually all i have to say is that it'll show me the events that happened where someone came close to my car when i was gone i really like this because one time i was getting towed and i knew because my phone was going off and it was like alert 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 especially when i'm parked on the street or something even when i'm parked in a garage but i just like to sometimes look and see oh what's the alert like who's close to my car it's usually not usually it's always besides the time when i got towed um it's always something very innocent and it's not a big deal but it's just nice to see like and spy and see like what was going on oh my yoke stick i call my wheel a yoke stick i don't know if that's what they actually call it at the company at tesla but i think it looks super cool it makes me feel like i'm driving some kind of cool like race car and there's other features that i don't necessarily love but that people comment on when they come into my car so to get out of the car you don't necessarily need a handle because you know, the car doesn't really have like a lot of handles besides the one that pops out instead you push a button and the door pops open that's a feature that you know is just there i don't like it or dislike it but you know it is what it is oh the voice command i use that constantly because sometimes i can't remember how to do stuff i'll just click on the voice command and i'll say turn on windshield wipers <laughs> because a lot of times i'll forget I'm like how do i do this again or how do i do whatever or how do i turn on the defroster or whatever i'll just use a voice command to be like turn off defroster i'm gonna have to move because i'm blocking traffic all right, so another thing that I love is the sunroof, which you can kind of see from here. It looks so cool. So it's not one of those sunroofs that open, I don't think, at least I've never been able to open it, but it just looks cool because it's clear. And so that's literally the sky right there. And when I'm on FaceTime, it always looks really nice. Usually I have my phone like down here. And so they'll look up and they can just see the sky. It's really beautiful. I think that's all the things that I absolutely love now. I think I need to get into some of the cons. So the number one con is if you are someone who likes the long distance travel, you like to take a road trip and you want to drive your Tesla from A to B and it's going to take six hours, if it's going to take even four hours, this car can be very inconvenient because you have to stop every three, three and a half hours to charge for an hour it really prolongs any road trip that's just not very short so last summer like i said i drove from dc to houston and it took all this time i stopped in atlanta whatever all this type of stuff that drive took forever not only because it was going to take forever no matter what but because i had to keep stopping at superchargers and charging along the way one pro is that the gps system if you put in something that's very far away that's going to require charging, it'll automatically schedule in charging sessions along your route. So it wasn't like I had to keep stopping and finding a supercharger. Like it'll automatically do that for you if you turn on that feature. But it was more so like having to stop for an hour every few hours to charge before continuing with my journey. But if you're someone who just wants your car for daily use and you're just going to drive it around your city or your town, then that probably won't matter to you and it is what it is. Um, but that's something for me that one time I wanted to drive to New York and that's like a four hour drive and then i was like uh i'm about to stop and charge and i was like never mind i'm gonna take the train <laughs> and so it could be discouraging for me to you know take long trips if i know i have to 
stop and charge forever. So that is like the biggest con. Another con is that if I haven't been in my car for a while, say I've been traveling, I've been out of town, I come back into my car, the GPS kind of lags. So it'll take a second for my car to get warmed up and start operating like at 100% again. Another thing is that the GPS is, how would I say it? It's like, it's not the best. You know how when you're on Google Maps and sometimes you just put in closest store and something pops up? That's not really how it works. You really do need to put in the name of where you wanna be or an address, so not a big, you know, a big complaint, but it's not as convenient as like the Google Maps on your phone. And the last one is that the sensors and the autopilot, it doesn't work the way people think it works. And so for autopilot, it's really best for like straightaways, like that long distance trip I told y'all where I went from DC to Houston, I use it a lot, but it doesn't necessarily just drive your car for you. Change the speed as it needs to, if you tell it to go that way, it'll go that way, but it still requires like a sense of direction. Like it's not gonna make a sharp left right turn for you or like a very steep curve for you. And so you still have to pay attention. It still requires to put your hands on the wheel. And so that's just like the one thing. I don't even know if that's a con, but it's more so just like, People always ask me like, oh, do you let it drive for you? And you can let it drive for you, but not not in the way people think think that you can. And I have the full auto driving. You now I know what I'm talking about. This is like the, the official auto driving feature, but it's not as simple as like, just get in your car and let your car drive you home. Like you need to still pay attention. It's not like a full self auto driving feature. It's very close, especially if you're just on a straightaway and you're in a long distance drive. It's like a way amplified cruise control. But the last like legit con I have is that sometimes, like I said, if the road is uneven, my car will beep as if I'm getting close to something, even though I'm not. If I'm parking on the street and let's say like just something wrong with the road, the road isn't that great, my car will beep as if I'm close. And I'll be looking, I'm like, I'm not close to anything, but it's just because the road is uneven, very uneven. It doesn't happen with just like little bumps, but there's a drop off in the road. It'll like be like beep, beep, beep. I think it reads it as a curb or something. That's literally all I have. That is it for me for this video. Once again, please leave down recommendations below for the next video. And I will see y'all next time. Bye.